Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel for some Sengoku Basara for Sumeragi. Now we're gonna start a new character playthrough of the dramatic line first, then the anime line. Onisan Kochira Tiga. <laughs> like I forecasted, I'm definitely going to be doing Chosokabe Motochika, and here we are on his immaculate sea view of the boat. Yeah, <laughs> オレたちが狙うのは百鬼の大宝だぜ兄貴。おうともよ。俺たちは海賊狙うは大宝。最強無敵の百鬼風格発進だ。最高だぜ。兄貴。今日もごっそりいただくぜ。やろうとも。Oof. I like how he's like yanking on this as if it's some kind of a steering wheel, but you know what? Whatever makes you happy. Okay. Uh, technically, none of these are I'm actually very good at, but this one is probably the least annoying one. You can definitely, like, I would definitely fail in trying to catch up with them, but the, well, I guess if I, I don't have much options here right now. I'm gonna go check out my um, partner, my lady partner's uh, hardware if I could be lucky. Uh, no. I guess not lucky at all. What I'm saying is, um, basically, I don't know. Ooh. Definitely awesome. So, without further ado, we're gonna go take out the first battle. Um, my point is, uh, you could definitely end up like myself in the last two times I attempted this particular battlefield and end up not catching up with good old um, Dati Masamune, but like compared to those other uh, levels, if you're in a hurry or trying to record YouTube, it's just complete bullshit. Like when I say bullshit, um, it's not saying the content is ludicrous and bullshit because that's what Basara meant in um, ancient Hindu language. So uh, that's not an issue and I don't know, at least this one, even if you don't get to um, like course through the gates um, faster than Masamune, uh, at least you could still have the option of like taking out every single other um, available, I guess, enemies and probably score your um, acknowledgement points uh, fast too. Like, compared to actually doing every single required special mission, you could have done it through, like, I guess, trying your best to complete uh, these possible missions within the game and these, like, possible missions that are unique to this particular battlefield. So that's one thing, and you already know this is not going to turn out well for myself. So I would attempt, but I guess it would only end up seeing myself completely losing it because I don't know how horses work properly in this game, and no, I'm down, I'm dead. He's going to shove the door, shut it in my face, yup, exactly. Well, like, compared to, I guess, chasing after the bearded idiot and a lot of the other, I guess, available battle uh, battles that I could choose from, I would definitely go for the not-so-disruptive and annoying, like, levels, so that's why I chose this one. And plus, most of them, I guess all of them were seen before, so yeah. Yeah, so exactly what I uh, try to say that it's, it's just like that. You can't, like, you can't win anything, but, you know, at least I, I find it entertaining and stuff, sir. Uh, so apparently, yes, you know, I could not catch up with him again. I, I forgot that riding horses, you have to get on a horse again when you switch characters, so that's my bad. Um, but what I'm saying is... Yeah, I know, I have to go through Kojiro soon, Kojiro soon before actually reaching him, which is common sense historically. 
But hey, a lot of people don't know about Japanese history. Well, I'm not good at it, but at least I know quite a lot of extensive knowledge. So that's a thing, but you know. As long as like your character is very convenient in usage, I don't really care. Yeah, looks in the but I have a I guess nuance of these lady gl glands gunslingers, because I, I used to play um uh, is it Devil May Cry? I think it was 3 or 4, I don't remember exactly which one it is. It was on PlayStation 2, and I think uh, our protagonist is Lady, her name is called Lady, and she's a gunslinger. Like a lot of these uh, really cool games that I've actually come in contact with and a lot of media stuff I've came in contact with actually had a lot of these um, heroic lady and stuff, and they're very fascinating, so yeah. Um, I'm not trying to be all like ranty or just basically have tar retard timing uh, shoved into what I'm trying to say. I'm definitely uh, feeling it. Like, I like this battle because I guess it's the only one out of the five options that sounds okay, like acceptable, but this might be one of those longer episodes, this might not, but whatever the case, I actually enjoy the game a lot and I hope you do too. And I'm not going into an exit sequence because we're definitely a long way from completing this battle, so screw you. We're not even at Koji Kojiro's place. So, so yeah, so basically I, I, I can't really claim that I know a lot of stuff, so that's the thing. And I'm definitely needing that because I guess mashing a button just feels Okay. Now you guys are actually blaming on your comrades. Here. Exactly. Don't blame on your comrades. That's not decent. That's not nice. Well, I'm definitely going to go somewhere. Yep, I just purposely ran into the fire and probably get dropped down by a tornado or a hurricane or twister or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but apparently it just went away and I'm still burned, so make my way to Kojudo. Oh, he's the voice actor of Katakura Kojuro and can't have enough of these really just mature man voices. Speaking of mature man voices, I really, I really like um, Date Masumi's voice because, damn, Nakai Kazuya, you sound so good. Well, no, I don't know. I guess for these like bigger titles and games, they use like crazy good. I guess not necessarily good because some of the voice acting, I guess, is still a little bit wonky, but. All in all, majority of the voice actors uh, in this game are doing a very nice job, and they're actually from famous um, voice actors agencies. So it's it's like a when you see the cast and staff, you would know whether or not listening to any speech in the game would be nice for a gamer. So apparently, that's a thing. And please stand up. There you go. I guess maybe, just maybe, if I'm lucky enough, this won't be a crazy 20 minute episode. Yeah, I know you want him to like come back and try to take over the world again, but could you please let me finish this? Because, you know, it's kind of late at night. I really would love to sleep. Alright, so you want to show me the real land and real stuff of the dragons. That is definitely awesome, but unfortunately I think you're going to get like, beat up in the face uh, later on when I'm done with you. But all in all, thank you for the good uh, advice and I'm going to destroy you. But apparently you are for some reason very defensive. Okay, that's a good bet. I would definitely try to win because I could take over the whole scene. So. Yeah, I know you would strike back again. I can't wait for the day we meet again. So. Do enjoy your um, encounter with me and remember I won against you. You were a loser. JK, that was so mean. Such a mean thing to say. Yes, Masamune, I know one day you would come back again and become the real Dragon King. 
And it's taking forever. Hello? There we go. Alright, so one conquering mission done. And let's see what's happening later. What's coming up in our epic final battle. I'm definitely gonna segue into it because that was too short. And おい、兄貴がお兄みたいな顔してるぞ。おめえ、ヘマやらかしちまったんじゃねえか。うるせえ。てめえの上がりがしょぼくれてたからだろ。え何も見てやがるやろども。海の上じゃ仲良くしとけ